We know that the brain is made up of neurons and that these are interconnected to form a vast network. These connections, known as synapses, enable the transmission of information from one neuron to another. Alzheimer's disease was described for the first time in 1907 by the German psychiatrist Alois Alzheimer. In performing a histopathologic study of the brain of his patient August D, suffering from dementia, he brought to light the presence of two types of lesions in the brain, senile plaques and neurofibrillary tangles. In Alzheimer's disease, 10 to 15 years before the appearance of the symptoms, two main lesions form in the brain, senile plaques, composed of amyloid beta protein, and neurofibrillary tangles, composed of tau protein. How is the senile plaque formed? On the surface of the neuron is a large protein called APP. Normally, APP is sectioned by enzymes on the surface of the neuron and it frees a protein called amyloid beta. The amyloid beta protein is then cleared in the body. In the case of Alzheimer's disease, there is an imbalance. The amyloid beta protein is no longer regulated and is found in too great a quantity. The proteins assemble to form indissoluble fibrils and create senile plaques. How are neurofibrillary tangles formed? When a neuron communicates with another, a signal goes from the body, known as soma, to the synapse to transfer the information. The signal passes through the skeleton of the neuron composed of microtubules. These microtubules are stabilized by normal tau protein. In Alzheimer's disease, tau protein becomes defective and detaches from the microtubules. Thus, the skeleton of the neuron dissociate as it is no longer maintained. Defective tau proteins then assemble to form filaments in the neuron. Without the skeleton, the neurons degenerate and connections between the neurons are lost. The abnormal accumulation of tau filaments in the neuron creates neurofibrillary tangles and eventually causes the death of the neuron. The two lesions spread throughout the brain. We know that the presence of the two cerebral lesions is necessary to develop Alzheimer's disease since one does not come without the other. Well before formation of senile plaques, Smaller forms of amyloid beta called oligomers appear to be toxic for neurons, disturbing their communication when they fix on to synapses. It would appear that the toxic oligomers and their accumulation in senile plaques are at the origin of neurofibrillary tangles, which in their turn are responsible for symptoms. The relationship between amyloid beta protein and tau protein is still little understood. What is the exact sequence of molecular mechanisms leading to the development of dementia? What is the role of genetics and environmental risk factors in the appearance of the disease?